Today we're going to go over the basics of doing a small volume calculation using Pocket 3D. As we can see, I'm fixed. This is just a made up job that has a couple control points in here. So what I need to do is I need to take a couple shots around my pile. So what I'm going to do is, let's say our pile starts here, I'm going to go to Survey, Measure Points, Topo Shot. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a layer called Base. All right, I'd like to see the point numbers. Just use the dot, that's fine. Hit OK. Make sure my antenna height is 656, whatever your rover height is. All right. And hit OK. Now when you hit OK, this will take the shot, so make sure you're level. Okay. So now, you're just going to walk. I'm in sim mode, so I'm just going to move here. I'm going to take another shot. Now what you can do is on your data collector there is an enter button. On the FC500 it's the bottom right, it's the arrow, kind of comes down and over to the left. And on the Tesla it's the same way. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit enter. And what it's going to bring up is your topo shot. We're still on base, we hit OK. And you can hit enter twice. Right. So I'm going to go, over, go around my mysterious pile, hitting enter twice. We'll just do one more up here. Okay, so there's my base of my pile. Now I have to walk the top of it. So I'm going to go over here, and as I'm walking up, now obviously I'm hitting move here, but you're going to walk up, take the shot, hit enter. Don't hit enter again. This time you have to change your layer, create a new layer to be top. Show our point numbers and hit OK. Now I'm going to change my antenna height so we can get some kind of number. You would leave your antenna height the same. Just change the layer and then change your point number to 10. Hit OK. Now it's going to take our shot up there. And then let's take another shot right here. This is the other top of the pile. And move here and take the shot. Now I can enter twice here because it's still on the top layer. There we are. Now here's our, our mysterious pile. Now the reason why I switched layers is generally the pile is not going to be this small. You're going to have 50 points. It's a lot easier to turn off the top layer so you can only select your base layer. So that's what I'm going to do right here. I'm going to go to data, layers, and turn off my top. Now, using the polygon tool, I'm going to draw around the points to select them. Now we're selected, we go Data, Calc Wizard, Tin Surface from Points. And there's our surface. Let's name it Base Pile. And hit Finish. Now we should turn on our top layer, because now we have to select all of them. So seeing how the other ones are already selected, we can change to our individual selector tool. Select the top. And now we go data, calc wizard, tin surface for points. There's our full pile, and this is what we're going to name pile. Hit OK. Now we have two, two surfaces we can compare. Go to data, calc wizard, compare two surfaces. We hit next. Our design surface is our base pile. We'll switch these, and we hit next. We look at our report. 
And here our common area, our cut volume is 100 cubic yards, and that's how big your pile is. You can save it to a USB, or just cancel, hit finish, and you're done.